How to create a hamburger menu for your Wix mobile. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how it works and how to create this hamburger menu for your site, as specifically for your mobile view for your Wix website. I know it says Wix Studio on the top left, but we're going to be doing this for the default Wix editor today. So let's just go and get started and start by clicking on edit site from the top right corner. Once this loads in, I'm just going to show you the first step in order to get started and set up this hamburger menu for your mobile site. Now, by default, you should be able to have a hamburger menu uh, on your mobile site, like I said, by default. But then there are also some aspects out there that could have um, made it so that you don't have one. And I'm going to show you how to pretty much recreate it or have that available for you. So for the sake of this site, for example, the first thing that you would notice is that we don't even have a menu on our uh, default or the desktop version of our site. And this is not going to be good because we don't have a menu here. So that means we, don't, we also won't have a menu on your mobile site. So make sure you create a menu first for the, for the desktop version. Doing so is very simple uh, on Wix. You simply just want to have a header space like this. Um, and if you don't have one first, just check by going to pages and menu. And then from here, you simply just click on the home page, click on the three dots right next to it and click on settings. Once you click on settings, just go to layout and make sure that it is set on standard. Otherwise it's just going to, uh, remove the header and footer. So once you click on standard, you should be able to see that you have a header here and there's a bunch of stuff, we, but we don't have a menu, but this is because I have removed it personally. So let's just go and recreate real quick. Uh, like I said, it's very simple. You want to go to add elements. And then from the elements section, you simply just want to search for menu and anchor. And then from here, you should be able to find a bunch of them, including hamburger menus for your desktop site. If you want to create a hamburger menu for your site, uh, you can feel free to use one of those and it's just going to work flawlessly. But then you also have more options like horizontal menus, themed menus, and so on. So let's just go for, since we want to also do hamburger menu for mobile, let's just go ahead and stick with hamburger menus all in all. So, uh, but by the way, you can stick with a horizontal one and still have the hamburger menu for your mobile. Now that I think about it, because of that reason alone, I'm just going to go for a, a non hamburger menu for the default one for the desktop one. So we just go in and drag and drop or just click on it and it should just be added to your site. Place it where you wherever you actually want to place it. So let's just go ahead and place it here a little bit. And then you can just feel free to start adjusting the actual menu. First, click on manage menu and this is going to allow you to uh, set up the um, sorry, not that but you're, you're going to be able to first set up the actual things that are in the menu. So the pages. So let's just go in and hide a bunch of them and just keep like two or three things. So click on manage menu, like I said, and then from here, you are just going to simply let's just hide the link. Uh, let's just hide the shop one hide from menu. Let's hide the other shop one. For some reason we have both. We are also going to hide the blog one and let's just hide the um, all products one as well. So once we do this, this should allow us to keep these three. And then from here, I'm just going to adjust it a little bit more so that we have, um, so we can actually make it a little bit more visible. So let's just change the um, text. So let's just go to menu container, menu items. And then we simply just want to go ahead and click on text and change the text color to become white. And we also want to change the, um, Let's just keep it as it is for the time being and we can obviously further adjust it but now let's just discuss how to actually add the hamburger menu on your mobile view so this is going to be the first step which is creating the actual uh menu on your d desktop site basically and then from here we simply just want to change to the phone site so click on switch to mobile here once we switch to mobile we are just simply going to start by um, adjusting that we don't have a header and footer, we are going to notice this if you don't have one. So make sure you have one and doing so is very simple. You're just going to go to menus and pages, go to the home page, click on the three dots and click on um, mobile settings, click on standard, make sure you have headers and uh, footers. 
exit out of here and it's going to be empty here for me because again i also removed the hamburger menu now for your case most likely than not you're going to be able to automatically find this hamburger menu uh, on here if you don't like in my case that means that you have hidden it uh, from the mobile view so you simply just want to access the hidden items and re uh you know reshow it you could say so we can just go to the eye icon which is here on the bottom left click on hidden on mobile and then from here we are going to be able to find the mobile menu icon so just go and click on show and this is going to create it for us and obviously place it on the top here for us and let's just go and click on preview real quick and see how it's actually going to work so if we click on that and then we just simply uh, click on the uh, menu item here it's just going to open up the menu for us but it's not going to do much here for us so let me just go in and readjust it and uh, basically apply the actual menu to it so we can just go back to editor for the time being but we have we have seen that it actually does work it does actually open up so simply just go in and click on it and click on edit menu and you can actually see the items that are in here so just go in and click on the actual menu now and click on manage menu items and then we simply just want to hide the same things that we did from the uh, default desktop view. So let's just keep it like this for the time being. And I think this is good enough. And then we can simply just go ahead and also uh, change more things to it. For example, if you want to change the background color, just click on the mobile menu box, which is all around here. So click on change background. And you can feel free to change it to become a solid color or a uh, an image if you want to. So let's just go for color here and make it a gradient. And then from here, let's just set it up to be, let's just say, the theme of this site is kind of blue-ish and white. So let's just change the purple one. Click on this purple. Change the color to become light blue. And then for this one, I'm just going to leave it to white. This is actually, nope, this is not going to work because... We want it to be a little bit darker so let's just go back to the blue one change it back to darker blue and then we can just increase the blue over the white like so and change this okay there you go so once you fully adjust this to your liking and the colors and stuff you can feel free to actually exit out of here and see how it's actually going to work so let's just click on save and uh, let's preview it once it's actually fully saved click on done here i'm not even adding adding a name Click on preview and you should be able to find, you know, your mobile site normal and everything. And then if you click on this, it's just going to show us the menu here. And it's just going to allow us to take us to different pages and stuff. Obviously, you have a lot more customization options to this. So let's just go to back to the editor. And then if we just click on the actual menu, uh, hamburger menu here, if we click on that, it's going to give us a few options here. Um, first we can have an animation for it so if you just want to click on that we're going to be able to find animations for like, scroll effects so it's not really going to be important uh, but then we also have the design aspect if we just click on design uh, we don't only have this hamburger menu icon we have a bunch of them and each one of them is going to have a plenty of customization options as well so let's just go in and go for let's say this one for example and click on it and then click on customize design once you click on customize design, you're, go you're going to have plenty to work with. For example, you have the closed and the open one. So this is going to look like uh, it's going to look like this once it's actually open, and it's going to look like this once it's actually closed. So this is for the fill. Uh, let's just click click back on. Yeah, this is for the fill color and opacity. So this is the background. If you want to change that, feel free to do so from here. And we can also feel free to change the opacity of it. So I'm just going to keep it like that and make it a little bit more transparent like so and then we also have the icon which is going to be in dark blue but we can obviously feel free to change it the same exact way so uh you also have more things like the borders and stuff you can again feel free to change them if you want to uh, change the color of it and the width of the actual border so let's just stick to having it to be one and then you also have the corners so if you don't want it to be more square-ish if you want it to be more round you can just increase this number so we can just do 15 for example and now we have it looking more like an actual burger now if you think about it so if we just go to shadows here if you want to apply shadows again it's all uh, up to you completely and this is all for the closed one if we click on open it's going to have its own different uh 
theme and stuff. So you'd want to also change those to be compatible if you want to, obviously. So we can just go ahead and change this, make the border to be zero, for example, and change the color of the actual uh, thing. Let's just go back here, change the color of the icon to be um, dark gray, let's say. And yeah, just feel free to change this. So I think I did 15 last time. So I'm just going to do 15 again and we're good to go. So this is going to be how to customize it fully to your liking. And it's now invisible for some reason. So let's just click on preview and click on the menu item. And now we can actually see that it is going to be exactly how we set it up to be. So this is going to be for the hamburger menu on the mobile view. But if you want to do it on the desktop, like I said, just simply um, add the hamburger one instead of this one. So we can just click on um, design instead of removing it this time. And then we can just scroll down. Actually, we can't really do it this way because this is the uh, design aspect. So we want to actually go ahead and remove it, unfortunately. And then just click on add elements, go to menus and anchors hamburger menus and then we can just use this one drag and drop it right over here and it's going to be exactly the same thing as the mobile one if you want to adjust how it looks like the colors and stuff is going to be all from here so let's just preview it real quick and see we have this right here so we can exit and it's good to go so hopefully you found this video to be informative and helpful and thanks for watching